Alex Morales is, I think for a lot of people in the MMA community, in the Treasure Valley, he is the name that a lot of people look up to, respect as the guy who made it, the one who showed everyone in this area that MMA in Boise, in Nampa, in Caldwell, in Ontario is legitimate and that you can make your way on to the UFC's biggest stage. Absolutely, small town boy from the region made it to the highest heights. I look at our Miller Lite of the tape. Vince Morales, four years the younger of Joe Penafial, one inch shorter, does way more and has more on the reach. Event of the evening. This fight is a catchweight class fight scheduled for three five minute rounds and is brought to you by Project Filter. You decide when, we'll show you how. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of 11 wins to five defeats. He stands at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 141.9 pounds. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, representing Fusion Excel Performance, please welcome Joe the Party Pedophile! And fighting out of the red corner with a record of 12 wins to seven defeats. He stands at five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 144.3 pounds. Fighting out of Ontario, Oregon, representing Syndicate MMA. Please welcome Vince Vendetta Morales. Our referee when the action begins is Mr. Tom Subnit. Tom, fighter's instructions, please. Okay, guys, following my instructions at all times, defend yourself at all times. Let's keep it clean, let's make it exciting. Touch them up. Fight fans, it is that time. Are you ready for a downtown throwdown? These are two dudes who do not like each other. This is gonna be fireworks from the time that bell sounds. Joe's gonna come out like a rocket. As expected. Penafial in the white, Morales in the black. Both men very experienced. Both men double digit professional victories. Both men so exciting. I love watching both of these guys fight. They both put on such a great show. Morales trying to get an opening and he starts connecting. Main event of the evening. Good start by Vince. Penafiel not backing down. A lot of leg kicks from Penafiel here. Both men just feeling each other out, trying to understand where they can create some space. Penafiel looks comfortable at this range. He's looking to stay in kicking range, not so much the, the punching range. I think he's going to look to try to take Vince's legs out. A minute gone by in the first round. Excellent combo by Vince. Body shot into the overhand left. Penafial's looking to create some space. He just can't seem to find an opening left to right for Morales, but he's got something in his eye and a Superman punch misses. Vince using that wrestling background for a strong, strong sprawl. Knees to the body. One of these fighters lost their mouth guard as well. Morales has got Penafial pinned up against the cage. Position reverses. Excellent change by Penafiel to switch positions there and put Vince up against the fence. Vince is spreading those legs again, trying to avoid Penafiel from locking those hands to get the takedown. Two guys who really know a lot about fighting to their own strengths. Right 
Good exchange there, and the mouth guard will go back in. Penafiel doesn't really want to give up any of that space that he just gained. Penafiel looks content to keep his hands down. Interesting tactic. We've seen a lot of that tonight from many a fighter just almost baiting their opponent to throw and try to parry it. Penafiel trying to create some leverage. Vince digging that underhook and breaking those hands apart. Here's a right hand that connects. Another shoot, another sprawl. Vince again answers with those underhooks, making Penafiel for work for those takedowns. Minute 50 left to go, round number one of our main event. Penafiel responds intelligently. He meets him with that underhook that he had originally to keep Vince from getting the takedown. And Penafiel's just keeping those hands down. Morales is getting in with combos. Mouse guard goes out again. Penafiel tries to throw, ends up on the floor. Penafiel Excellent connection by Ben. Penafiel's just walking forward. He's really keeping that left hand up. Pen Penafiel is just not using his left hand. Vince is finding a home for every one of these punches. Penafiel's still in it though, still strong, still walking forward, still confident. He's very confident, but he looks quite sluggish as Morales ends up pinned against the cage. Morales starts throwing. Penafiel's time him to bring it. 36 seconds left. First round. Vince knows the round's coming to a close. He's pacing himself, doesn't want to wear himself out, but he may finish with a big flurry. And Brown's starting to look tired, but he can still land those big combos. That right hand caught for Penafiel. He's got a cut on his eye as the first round ends. And a lot of action. Don't think much of it favored Penafiel. No, not much at all. He did c continue to go back to those leg kicks. He's really looking for that calf kick. He's looking to ruin Vince's timing, take out his legs, interrupt his footwork a little bit, but it's not enough. Vince answers with t many, many, many blows. For Penafiel, he's certainly almost scaring Morales, though, with the fact that he is just taking shot after shot, and he's not willing to back down. Not at all, and Vince, again, has a great wrestling background. So as Penafiel throws these shots, if they're not timed well, if they are not set up well, they will not be successful with Vince's sprawl. You see this big final flurry <laughs> from Morales that came towards the end of the first round. Once again, two men with a ton of experience. They've both been around the professional circuit. Penafiel fighting here in Front Street, fights 25. And these two men get set for round number two. Another five minutes inside that locked cage. Morales with a couple cuts, Penafiel with a cut over his left eye. Right hand connects, combination comes through. Quick hands by Vince, excellent combination. Then he backs right out, getting ready to set up his next big flurry. Morales' hand speed is so hard to deal with. Yeah, Fial continues to come forward, though the party is not backing down from a fiesta. Left hand into a body shot. As you mentioned, each of them have an injury over the eye. Curious to see how that plays out with this vision game. It's left after left. Morales is really setting up everything with that left straight. Leg kick, leg kick. Penafiel's entire game plan seems to be dependent on this calf kick. 
body shot. Uh, Morales is just scoring. Morales getting in tight, left, right, it's unstoppable. Penafiali, he's definitely hurting right now. Absolutely, he's having trouble seeing out of that eye. He's trying to blink it away, it's not working. Keeping his hands so low, Morales keeping him up around the chin. Body shot. Really no answer or response for Vince's striking. Yeah, every time Morales throws, it, at least one is landing. Had his hands on the knees. He used it to showboat a little bit, but that's still a sign of fatigue. Body shots, head shots, combination from Morales. Oh, big right hook. You want to talk about a guy who knows his boxing, that's Vince Morales. Penafiel looking at the clock, and this round's not even half over. Oh, Penafiel just keeps getting tagged. Morales puts him to the ground. Morales finishes the fight. Beautiful finish on the ground by Vince. Heavy hands. This fight was only headed one direction. Vince made sure it went that way. It was the fight that both men were looking for. But it could only go one way. And tonight it's Vince Morales who comes out on top. The Ontario, Oregon native. The hands on the knees, as you mentioned, Cameron, ended up being the end of the fight. Fatigue set in hard. Penafiel did not have any answer for those strikes. They just continued to accumulate and accumulate. He took the damage until Vince put too much on him, put him in the ground, and buried it with a few more, a few more punches on the way down. You can see it there, Penafiel looking up at the clock. Just two minutes into this round, he's waiting for this thing to be over. And Morales gave him the ending that he wanted, but certainly not the ending that he was looking for here tonight. But again, a lot of props to Joe Penafiel. As we mentioned, this is a man who got the call on a Wednesday afternoon to show up in Boise on a Friday night and give it his all inside the cage against a man who has competed at the highest level in this sport. And for the official decision, Matt Johnson has us inside the ring. Excellent show of respect between these warriors. Conclusions at our main event this evening. And how about a special round of applause for Joe Penafiel. He took this fight two days ago, flew here from Orlando, Florida yesterday to fight for you guys tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner. Referee Tom Sutnet stops his fight at two minutes and 19 seconds in a round number two. Your winner via TKO, fighting out of the red corner, Vince Vendetta! Well, Vince, first of all, we got to say welcome home and welcome back to Front Street Fights. How does it get to feel to be back in front of your friends, your family, your hometown crowd tonight? Man, nothing more fitting than getting my 20th professional fight here at home. Uh, despite, like, I want to apologize a little bit for how some of my UFC fights went. I think you guys know me better than that, and I like to leave everything I have in the cage. But some of my fights didn't really show that, so uh, this is me rectifying it here and now. It's gonna get better going forward. I appreciate everybody for coming out. Thank you for Joe for taking the fight. It's super short notice, despite the dude being a pain in the ass to negotiate with. He's a gentleman. Uh, sick fight. Was... You mentioned your 20th professional fight tonight. You had your very first fight in this building with Front Street Fights. What has this building and this organization meant to your career? Well, it's meant everything. I really couldn't have built where I am now or where I plan to be in the future without Front Street Fights. So, I mean. I'm still the featherweight king here, it feels like, despite not having a belt. Uh, I love it here, man. Uh, all the sports blows me away every single time, man. I love you guys, thank you. Let's talk real quick about the fight. Uh, little damage to the eye there, obviously. Did that affect you at all? And how did you see this fight play out with Joe? 
Uh, I got, yeah, just a little. It ain't no thing, though. Like, uh, it's a fight, and uh, one thing I keep trying to remind myself is it's a fight. Not everything has to be perfect. Not everything has to be pretty. We get in here, and we fight, and the victory takes care of itself. So that's my mindset from now on, and I'm not wavering from that at all. Uh, Joe did a good job. He did exactly what I thought he was going to do. He tried to kick me in the leg a little bit, tried to make him pay on that. Um, he was tough, man. He takes a good shot. I was cracking him hard. Um, I think the first person to put him away with a TKO in his career, so I think that shows something for how hard I hit these guys. All right, before we get on out of here, Vince, any uh, shout-outs you'd like to give uh, before as we end the evening? Uh, number one, got a shout-out, Coach Wood over here. Uh, you know, I think this dude gets enough love. I appreciate it. Coach Danny's been coming out. Uh, all my team over at Syndicate, you guys are great. I level up every day with you guys. Uh, shout out to all the sponsors, local from Ontario, Oregon, all the way over in Vegas, man. I got, I got great support. It means everything. Thank you. Let's go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, as loud as you can, give it up for Vince.